Good afternoon, all. I very warm welcome to all the attendees of this session. It's now time to introduce speaker of the day, Professor Bhaskar Mitra, Dean and Head of School, School of Fashion, Lovely Professional University, a fashion alumni of National Institute of Fashion Technology, did his master's in business administration and second master in fashion and textile from Nottingham Tarrant University, UK. Also did design and management from University of Arts London. He is not only an academian, but also an artist with a flavor of fashion and handicraft design. He has real time industry experience. He has to credit more than 36 design consultancy projects, assisting the development co commissioner under Ministry of Textile, Government of India. I really, really welcome you, sir. We also have with us Dr. Chirag Sharma, Assistant Professor, PhD, Computer Science and Engineering, 10 year experience in LPU, 45 research publication in areas of image processing. He is going to take up the eligibility, scholarship, fee infrastructure, fee and infrastructure. I welcome you, sir. So we go ahead with the Mr. Baskin, sir. Thank over you. to you. Thank you so much. Uh, welcome, students. So I think the summer has already started and slowly we are coming to the normal situations when you see the post covid so i hope everyone is enjoying at home uh, and definitely when we talk about fashion trends in the 21st century so this is one of the hottest topic that you should know as a student so let us start with what exactly is the future of fashion First of all, know this that there's a change in there's a constant change in the market and in the environment. So fashion, even if it is hard to grasp today, will change and what we wear today will probably be ridiculed in 10 to 12 or maximum 20 years from now. So fashion has been and always will be a product of society and the world around us. You are very much aware of what is happening. So fashion is a lifestyle. Fashion is a part of our life. Fashion is as much of a matter of materialism, materialistic world, and it's a canvas for creative expressions. So fashion is all about materialistic world and expression of your creativity. Think that depending upon the textile industry so when we talk about the material it all depends on the industry that we are focusing on the creative side is where our views idols and wishes are reflected in our clothes so students you always see that when you represent yourself definitely we tend to be smart we tend to be Definitely, you are the person who represents in front of the society. So what is it? The creative side where our views. So definitely we are talking about are reflected in our clothes, correct? For instance, corset belt. You know what is corset belt? As curves are trending or a t-shirt, definitely a t-shirt where everyone has its one piece or maybe 10 pieces at your wardrobe with text as we are more publicly putting politically and these days through social media so definitely we are we are much aware of what is happening politically socially and through social media so we are very much aware of what is happening in the market for this one has to understand that what natural to us today is still something relatively new denim has been around for ages all of you have 
got a pair of denim at your wardrobe. So denim has been there for ages, but it was unthinkable to wear it regularly in 1900 century. What will be our dream of denim in another coming years? What kind of denim you see in the coming few years down the line? What choice of style will we make in order to fulfill body idol or creative satisfaction? So these are the questions that you have to ask yourself that what kind of denim you see in the coming future down the line five years you you everyone is having a pair of denim maybe a jacket or a trouser or maybe a skirt or maybe something which is related to denim fabrics so you have to be very very cautious about what is happening now what is next what is the next future of denim so we see that there are a lot of lot of changes in the society when we talk about fashion it all depends on so many factors okay so can you go to the next slide please next slide yeah so overall we speak about that school of fashion definitely has been working very well uh, at lpu on sustainability because sustainable is the future next slide please sustainable is the future and definitely there are a lot of projects live projects workshops internships that students are doing it and this is how we see the sustainable fashion so when we talk about sustainable fashion a and o of the fashion of the future is sustainability the o of the fashion of the future is sustainability so what is sustainability all of you have been staying at home during covid so how did you sustain for so long without playing cricket or football or maybe playing your own choice of games or swimming or skating but still you survive without that sports you could not go to school but still you could complete your you know exams you got your result because there are always a choice and there is a lot of options in the market because of covid we have all been digital sustainability comes in so many shapes so what are the sustainable areas that we need to focus on for the future the pictures on the screen explains everything so you can understand what is it that we are mentioning about sustainability the sustainable fashion the products we buy have to be organic and fairly produced that means the products that we would like to buy now has to be very organic organic means you all know what is organic because from your school teaching you can always learn what is organic what is green fashion how do you survive yourself in this materialistic world so the products we buy have to be organic and fairly produced that means it should not do harm to the society it should not do harm to the society so this collections that you see on the screen has been developed by students who would like to send a message message to the society that we would like to protect this world from chemicals from harmful gases no from pollutions from sound pollutions so how do you think that this all pollutions are suddenly arriving so much because there are a lot of demands in the market and as per the demand you have to supply the product See, if you have seen during COVID, all of you have been there at home. And I think you have not gone for shopping. The only thing that you have did during, you know, staying at home is to buy from online, from Amazon, Flipkart. 
so when do you see that you have saved a lot of money in clothing but still you could enjoy your life sitting at home so covid has taught us that how to save materials how to save resources unnecessary wastage of materials unnecessary you know demand of certain things which is of no use so once you go to the market you tend to buy some shirt or top or a skirt why because you feel like buying but it is it is not necessary it is not necessary so when we see the basic three necessities of life what are the three basic necessities one is the food the shelter and the clothing but when we see fashion it is not a necessity now it has been covering a lot even if you open your wardrobe there are unnecessary things which is lying there so the question is who is going to use these clothes who is going to use these clothes so you should ask yourself a question that how to reuse these fabrics or materials which is lying at your wardrobe so both for the sake of earth but also for fabric workers producers and other people that are living in questionable conditions due to our fashion fashion today is anything but sustainable in so many ways definitely the denim jacket or any sort of jacket which is laying at your wardrobe can be reutilized you know you can recycle it you can upcycle it you can remake the overall look of your jacket no so there are a lot of techniques that we uh, teach our st students to remake your clothes which is lying in your wardrobe and you can once again wear it as a new after new fashion that you can create by your own hands and this is what you can see has been done by the students these are all old clothes the old clothes someone has taken out the threads someone has taken out the embroidery someone has taken out you know so many you know elements from the garment and they have mixed match and created a beautiful collection to send a message to the society that look this is how we can survive we can create beautiful clothes even in spite of not wasting so much of money and definitely the best part is you can reutilize it from your wardrobe no so when we talk about uh, sustainable fashion this is the only future because all the resources are going to get finished so when we talk about water drinking water slowly slowly the drinking water is coming to minimum so there would be a scarcity of drinking water there should be absolutely awareness from your side that okay fine if i misuse the water tomorrow future generations would not get it so water would be very expensive you see petrol is slowly slowly getting finished so people are coming to electrical cars electrical vehicles no in so definitely they want that even from gas they get a lot of pollution which causes cancer so definitely they would like to protect the world so they came out with electrical vehicles why they are doing it because they know the more you use resources from the earth the quickly it is going to get finished not in 100 years maybe in around 200 years but there's a question mark that today if you as a student if you don't think then you will create a future based on what is not required so you have to create a future which is required for future generations and even for your life next slide please next slide okay so the problematic areas so what are the problematic areas when we talk about sustainable fashion no so the problematic area is the cheap price tag so when you go to a shopping mall or you buy from online you can see there are a lot of discounts they give 60% 70% discount also but these are all low quality products they just want to push the sale just to increase the sale they give you 
a marketing strategy of reducing the price and selling it showing you a lot of discount but normally that's not a discount so because of cheap price tags people tend to buy more products they consume more products and finally what happens it reaches to your wardrobe or at home and you can see there are a lot of unnecessary things that you have bought but it's of no use in regular life day to day life no so what we should do when we see cotton which has become way more sustainable to be replaced by another material that is that's organic so there are a lot of fiber and fabric which is coming to the trend which is man made so you can see the world cup you can see olympics the t-shirts and jerseys that are created are all from synthetic and man made fibers and those are more breathable so when you see there are a lot of technology which is used to make it breathable breathable means where you can the oxygen can come, come inside your body can be absolutely in balanced you can get more oxygen you are more breathable you can the sweat which is coming from the body can be absorbed quickly but you know those are areas that we are replacing with natural fibers so what are natural fibers cotton wool silk linen jute flex so these are all natural fibers it takes time to grow and as per the demand of the market you cannot create quickly so what happens it so that it can be quickly produced and supplied to the market instead of not to harm the environment then we talk about use of animal in fashion so when we talk about use of animal in fashion the use of animal in fashion is horrendous it is not at all accepted you don't want to kill an animal to produce something which is beautiful no because you are taking someone's life and creating it by taking out its fur or taking out something of the skin which is not at all accepted so what the designers are doing so they are creating artificial fur artificial skin so if you go to chanel louis vuitton these are big brands in the fashion world so what they do instead of killing a crocodile they are creating artificial crocodile skin no they create artificial fur all these are because of technology and the new innovation which is going on in the fashion world so this is normally a trend now so what we do synthetic versions all the synthetic versions are coming so that we should not kill animals and at the same time people can enjoy the same look that we get it from a fur or a skin of a snake or a crocodile or from any other animals that you see no normally when you see uh, there are a lot of expensive products luxury products that has got real fur so you can talk about the angora which has been taken out from the rabbit so when you see a rabbit when the fur is taken out it's very cruel it's very cruel when you talk about uh, you know the wool which is taken out the merino wool definitely there are a lot of harms that we do to the animals so now it is stopped so the latest trend is we should not kill animals but definitely we should create the synthetic version of the look but unfortunately not often as long lasting in quality as genuine leather but when you see a genuine leather it lasts for 100 years but when you talk about synthetic it doesn't last so long it has got its you know limitations it tend it tends to get spoiled quickly because it is synthetic it is man made but natural uh, may, many of your father or grandfather or your, your brother or maybe you might be have a real jacket real leather jacket so what is the real jacket the real jacket is all about the real skin and it stays for a longer time but now it has been stopped so when we talk about we have to become better at finding alternatives we have to 
come out with alternatives and not kill more animals for the sake of fashion the fast pace of trend and consumptions so when you see the last point is the fast pace of trends and consumption so what is it it's a fast trend even if you have been getting so many you know you buy so many products your stationery your color your books your copies different color pages for crafts so you do a lot of buying from online but do you really need so much of materials you have to question yourself because the future depends on you you are the future and you have to decide what is right and what is wrong so we get dressed after trends rather than style normally we see bollywood actress hollywood actor actresses we get inspired from them we get fascinated about their clothing their style so what is it so we get dressed after trends rather than style we buy new rather than second hand so definitely when we see um, get inspired by some bollywood actor actresses we tend to buy the similar thing but a new one not a second hand one now the trend is coming as a second hand there are a lot of big brands in the international market and even in the indian market you can easily get a 2 lakh dress for 2 days rent you don't have to buy that you can go and hire it for 2 days or 5 days it depends on how many days you want and you can pay for the dress on every day basis so your purpose is solved you get an expensive product and at the same time you don't have to pay for the price of the product but just have to pay for the days number of days you have utilized so this is the new trend which is come lot of our students are doing such things to save the environment it's very important that there are a lot of factors which you have to utilize it to save the earth so you can see these two images these are self explanatory that lot of embroideries so you can see the images lot of embroideries has been taken from the others and you know put it in such a way so that your regular sweater can be very innovative and very trendy and very modern and you can wear it once again all these are old clothes that you see on the screen and that has been recycled upcycled touch of embroidery touch of innovation creativity and these are again sellable even in the left hand side you can see there are two jackets which has been used the right hand side and the left hand so there are two different fabrics but you still you can see there's a lot of mix match and the overall balance the look is so beautiful that you can wear it in a party and you can take it out and you can go and you can represent this is how we have created okay so let us go to the next slide the global change award so what is the global change award there is a lot of competition which is happening the competition is about uh, h&m all of you i think maximum of you uh, go for shopping in h&m no so h&m has started a competition in the name of global change of change award so what is global change award you get to work on a sustainable project submit your proposal and you may be one of the person to get a scholarship to study abroad okay so you can always focus on this go to this website and see how h&m is supporting the society to survive for another 500 years next topic can we play this video please so i'll show you a video where h&m is all about uh, there can be limited sound or no sound but you can see the video and understand how h&m is helping the society to save and be on a sustainable mode
So you can see a lot of research, explorations, lot of labs, lot of innovative ideas which are coming, lot of people from different parts of the world coming together to create certain things which will definitely support on sustainable fashion. Yeah, so what they're saying that we have to come up with a solution. You have to find out a solution for every problem that is today we are facing and facing in the fashion world. So we need to think about our resources in different areas. The purpose of doing that is really to protect our planet and the living conditions. So you can always, uh, students, you can always participate in this competition. You go to the website, check it out, and you can, you know, be a part of this competition and see if you can win this award. Because this is a very prestigious award. This is an international um, competition where you can be a part of it. And there are a lot of things that School of Fashion LP you can help you out in this. And our students are always participating in such kind of events where there are different competitions in the world. So we will come to World of Wearable Art, which is happening in New Zealand. So you can be always a part of it, even though you don't know designing. So there are these are the kind of competitions that you should participate. You should know where you stand. Okay. Then we talk about Stella McCartney. This is a very famous designer. Ellen Fisher. So these are the two designers, big brands in the international market. They are focusing on definitely sustainable designing. And that's the future. Next slide. So when you talk about this design, so you can see this. The iconic pieces so what is it turn your maxi dress into maxi skirt with a built-in zipper or turn your cape into a cardigan or why not your coat into a jacket so you can see this designer is a as a very famous designer Hussein Chalayan transforming into dresses so Hussein Chalayan is a British designer UK based designer and he has created this beautiful skirt from you know the wood or the synthetic materials so when you place this if you fold it fold the skirt it becomes a table and when you wear it it becomes a skirt convertible so they are saying that turn your maxi dress into a maxi skirt with a built-in zipper or turn your cape into a cardigan so the left hand side can be you know you utilize it a cardigan or a cape or coat or a jacket so there are a lot of trends which is coming now you as a student has to understand that there are a lot of convertible things so there, there might be a lot of uh, dresses or garments laying in your wardrobe, which is convertible. You can use both the sides. So normally these are futuristic designs where people will not be able to wear it on regular basis, but these are just inspirational ideas which comes to the fashion show. Okay, but normally people take ideas from such kind of inspirational shows and they come out with very practical garment. Next slide. So you can see this kind of different materials, the synthetic material to create the new trend in fashion, the different texture. So what you see in this, the different cut, the different texture, the different color, 
different material, the different fall, the different look, and how the technology has helped them to come out with such innovations. Okay, next slide. Now, when we talk about the latest trend, so trend 21st century is just about sustainability, technology, digital, so how quickly we can build it. So technology, when we talk about, will definitely play a big part in the future fashion. A big part, because only and only thing is technology. This is how we know. UV protecting fabrics in swimsuits to protect us from the sun. You all heard about UV protecting uh, materials in your sunglasses, in your cars, in your dresses, in your bags. So there are so many things which is happening, UV protection. A fabric and remote to adjust how hot or cold clothing pieces is feeling. So definitely there are a lot of fabrics which has been invented to adjust to the old cold and hot climate. So you don't have to wear heavy cardigans or jackets. You can wear just a single product and there's a temperature control. And based on the weather, you can easily change the temperature and you can wear it and you can be safe. Okay. Next slide. Few examples of UV protections, the synthetic materials which has been created by the human mind and which are not natural is much, much in fashion, much, much in trend. So this would be the future. Okay, next. So when we talk about, perhaps uh, we talk about the UV protections, technology will definitely play a bigger part in future fashion, especially in terms of creating new materials. So I mean, we use raincoats to protect ourselves, correct? And not to get wet in the rain. We have begun using UV protecting fabrics in swimsuits to protect us from the sun. Definitely, there are a lot of innovations which is going on to protect the, the skin from the sun radiations. It's likely that it will become, it will be taken even further. It will go much, much further because day by day, because of the climatic conditions, the change of weather, you can see a lot of climatic changes. Too much of hot, too much of cold. The, the, even this time, the winter stayed for a longer time. There are a lot of snowfall which is happening, you know, even though it is not required. There are a lot of rainfall, a lot of rains, a lot of floods, a lot of natural calamities which is happening just because of the environment is not balanced today. So what we talk about, it's likely that it will be taken even further, perhaps more UV protecting materials for the everyday life too. Okay, because of course, technology as in screens doing digital, why not have your phone screen in a bracelet in your arms? So definitely, tomorrow you're going to see, today you can see the Apple Watch. It can do a lot of things. It can, uh, you know, assess your heartbeats, your blood pressure, and so many other factors that is done by the Apple Watch. How many steps you have walked? How, how much fast you are walking? How many kilometers you have walked today? Every record is there. So tomorrow you never know that there would not be any mobile phones that you have to carry, but your bracelet, maybe for a female, there can be a bracelet where you can see the screen, or maybe the mobile phone is inserted as a tattoo in your hand. So you don't have to, carry your mobile phone it is in your hand and if the key keys are in your fingers and the screen is already in front of you 
the storage is already high clouds so you can see that everything is sorted so people would like to have the minimalistic fashion minimalistic design very minimum very minimum you don't have to carry much or why not have lights in your clothes there are a lot of you know in mobile phones you can switch off the torch it is for emergency so today if you leave your mobile phone at home you are half dead why because mobile phone is having everything and today you don't remember a single number apart from yourself or hardly one or two why because a mobile phone is having every numbers no so maybe tomorrow the clothes might be having lights tomorrow the clothes might be having memory so more functional more practical more functional clothing would be seen tomorrow okay then we talk about a fabric and a remote to adjust hot and cold clothing piece is filling so normally you will have a uh, just like air condition you will have a remote control in your hand and you wear a jacket and if you feel like hot you can you reduce the temperature and you will feel cool because there are a lot of gadgets which is fixed there and that keeps your body absolutely comfortable so tomorrow the 21st century is saying that there could be a lot of technology a lot of involvement of practical and gadgets a lot of artificial intelligence which is going to be used to fulfill the need of the market right so when we talk about 3d printing now so in 21st century there are lot of 3d printing which is happening 3d printing permits fashion designers to expand beyond traditional boundaries and which can be done by a machine so all of you know what is 3d printing no all of you know so what is 3d printing allowing them to turn some of the most challenging design concepts into reality so maybe with hand or maybe with any machinery that you see locally made you cannot convert that ideas into 3d but when we talk about 3d machines 3d machines can create everything that you want you just have to design it in a software in a computer and pass it down to the machine and the machine is automatically going to create that particular product in a limited time because making in hand will take a lot of time but in 3d it creates fast very fast without the need for a specific mold designers are free to create intricate geometrics structures which are not only aesthetically pleasing but can add smart functionality to the clothes even in medical science you see 3d printing can create organs now so those are all into research but definitely tomorrow you're going to get organs made by 3d printing machines accurately as per the size which is required in your body and the future would be that human beings would stay for a or be alive for a longer time why because the technology is going to replace everything and create as per your need no today if anyone is having an issue with lungs or kidney they tend to get they need the correct kidney as per their size as per their body structure as per their blood group and there are so many other factors so the 3d printing can create one part of it that is the design of your organ and it can be inserted in, inside your body and your body would be absolutely fine so there are a lot of research which is going on uh, and you can see a lot of change in the coming 10 years it is not possible so fast but definitely science is coming out with first much much advanced technology where we cannot think today next slide okay so when we talk about the 3d designer 
So she is Iris Van Harpen. Her name is Iris Van Harpen. She is a Dutch fashion designer. She is only 37. And she is the youngest designer when we talk about luxury garments, hot fashion, high fashion garments. So she has competed with every top level designers. So she is working with uh, the 3D printing and the technology. So Iris Van Harpen is a Dutch fashion designer known for fusing technology with traditional hot couture craftsmanship. So whatever you do in your pencil on paper, everything can be converted into this 3D printing. And you don't have to have much of knowledge about cutting, pasting, stitching. There's no stitching required. Not maximum garment with this designer is not stitched. Very few. And normally you, in future, you will see that there are a lot of less stitching. There would be, you know, things which is pasted, which will consume less time, less, less cost. So people are going to wear those garments, which is less stitched. Because all these materials that this designer is using it are all artificial materials, synthetic, man-made fibers man-made fabrics or materials and this designer is creating her own material they are not going to the market to buy fabric to go for a jacket no 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 this is a dress which she has created the material has been created by herself it is first designed on the computer and then it has been transformed into a 3d printing and it is you can see it's a practical garment that you can wear it no so Viren Harpen opened her own level in 2007. It's not that very far. It's hardly 14 years old. And she is so famous. You can always go and check out this designer that why she is so famous, right? Next slide. Another designer we talk about is Hussein Chalayan. Hussein Chalayan, I told you that he is Fashion designer based in Britain. He's not a British, but based in Britain, United Kingdom. He has owned the British designer of the year twice, was awarded by MBE in 2006. So this designer, the one that I've shown you, the table, the table which can be converted into a skirt has been done by this designer, Hussain Chalayan. And he has been doing so much of innovation and it's not today's. He has been for last 10 to 15 years, he has been focused on technology based designing in the world of fashion and textile. And if you go to this website, you will be shocked to see that the way he has experimented with technology and science. Next slide, please. All this, so you can see the ocean waves how it has been captured how it has been captured through different material different synthetic material man-made fibers how the shape has been captured how the the color has been captured so it's not that conventional clothes those are really artistic and inspired by the roughness of the ocean Next slide. All these clothes are done by Iris Van Harpen, the Dutch designer that was talking about. Beautiful garments. So you can see, you can also create such kind of clothes. You just have to do design at home on paper. And if you really would like to help us, we would help you out in this. We have got our 3D printing machines, laser cutting machines, so LP Fashion has got every machine which is required to create in-house design. And you can explore a lot of things like this, a lot of things. You just have to do it on paper. You don't have to have a knowledge about different materials. And you gain the experience and you create such things in our labs. So first year students in our B-Design fashion always create such kind of innovative garments 
in a team of two or three and they learn the process of how to go from sketch to the final product and by doing this you develop your confidence how to play with the body how to shape your idea into a 3d product how to use the trends which is digital sustainability technology 3d printing all these things are going to help you out to develop your skills next slide it's not just garment it's also products lifestyle products so you can see candle holders you can see pen holders pencil holders you can see bracelets you can see pendants necklace anklets everything whatever you see at home can be developed by 3d printing and that's the future you do it and command and it will come out you have heard about this story no so there are a lot of stories on 3d printing a lot of stories on 3d printing uh, there was a story where uh, one of the school children created a beautiful you know uh, products and those were used as weapon so make sure uh, that you use this these are the machines that is there in a lab and definitely with small machines you can create beautiful products wonderful so make sure uh, use this kind of technology these are the trends which is there and when i was talking about world of variable art this world of variable art even you are in school you can always participate in this competition which is happening once in a year and this is done by new zealand and you can go to the website this is a competition which has got a big big cash of the first there are 40 different awards and you can win that award and it is like you are winning an oscar the level of competition is as compared to oscar so for design students you can always participate it is online you have to create a garment and you have to send it to them if they like it they will call you and they will sponsor you for your trip and you can go there stay in a five star hotel be there for seven days enjoy the international flavor of design it is not just fashion but you can create beautiful garments like this of different material if you are the winner then definitely you will be called uh from that team to work with them on a live project right thank you so much students hope you have understood the 21st century trends that we are talking about we talk about 3d printing we talk about sustainability and there are a lot of other things so make sure you utilize this and be a great designer or a person who would like to you know renovate or invent yourself into a new discipline thank you so much thank you so much sir uh, it was really wonderful session sir thank you so much we are really very thankful to watching you talking on sustainable fashion how sustainable fashion grow how we use animal texture without harming animals and the brands technology based fashion and it was really really wonderful session thank you sir next we move on to dr chirag uh, who is going to take up fee structure eligibility criteria scholarship and infrastructure welcome yeah. you sir uh yeah thank you very very much uh, good evening everyone uh, i'll be explaining about the campus life exposure along with eligibility scholarship information regarding fashion design uh, we uh, we firstly explore uh, campus life in our university it's a very vibrant campus where we have actually conducted 106 Uh, sixth indian science congress which was actually a mega event in 2019 which was inaugurated by our honorable prime minister of india shri narendra modi so we had all the participants and all the scientists uh, visited our campus and basically explored their skills on a, on a very uh, good level 
uh, in in campus uh, we conduct various events one of the prime prominent event that i explained was indian uh, science congress but we do conduct convocations which which is actually uh, which uh, which was conducted in 2013 15 16 and so on and uh, one of the prominent uh, picture that is being uh, shown over here was uh, when the uh, Now we had President uh, Pranam Mukherjee sir and then the President of Afghanistan visited our campus and inaugurated that convocation part. So uh, we had various uh, startup schools uh, in the university, and uh, one of the prom prominent example is given over here, where uh, Sri Arun Jaitley has actually inaugurated LQ Startup School. uh then uh, we had a very vibrant campus where we have actually delivered various skills uh, various life skills lessons and one of the prominent examples you can see over here in this picture uh after that uh, from real life heroes to real life heroes we had uh, the visit of all the bollywood stars all the cricket stars who have visited our uh, university and actually uh, made made our uh, campus even more vibrant Uh, we had the visit of um, mahendra singh dhoni sir so uh, he actually came here for his uh, for the launch of the movie as well uh, along with uh, infrastructure so if i uh, talk about the infrastructure of L, uh, lovely profession university it's very huge infrastructure with 600 plus acre uh, area along with that we had Uh, various auditoriums and one of the prominent example of the auditorium which is present over here is the amphitheater uh, it is having the capacity of more than 3000 people those who can come over here and it is actually connected with all the academic blocks along with the library as well so we had three major uh, three major auditoriums one of them is amphitheater we have uh, shanti devi mittal auditorium which has a capacity of 2000 people which is uh, shown over here in this slide and uh, and along with that we had another uh, another uh, auditorium which has a capacity of 350 uh, baldev raj mittal auditorium along with that we have uh, unipolis which has a capacity of more than 10000 people in the university this is an example of academic resource center which which actually provides uh, uh, the daily needs of all the students and uh, it is uh, actually a multi uh, multi story building along with that there are many many uh, many many things which the students can explore whether uh, whether they want to go to any uh, computer center or whether they want to go to any dominos uh, uh, center or along with at any purchase of any uh, any kind of uh, uh, daily necessity stuff so it is available in the academic resource center this is an example of uh, our uh, our library uh, so the library over here uh, is there for story building of library and we can have access of all the books which are there in the library only so we have a super bowl center which is uh, placed in academic resource center where we uh, you can easily uh, do bowling along with that other activities as well gym act, uh, gym is also present in academic resource center uh, along with that uh, infrastructure we have the uh, important thing in our university is uh, the uni hospital that uh, is provided uh, to all the students all the students whether they are hostels or they are day scholars uh, because in this uh, uh, pandemic it's very important to give the health facility and that that's what we are actually doing along with that we have a very uh, huge uh, sporting complex it's an indoor sporting complex uh, and uh, it is uh, having the access of all the various sports such as indoor sports like uh, swimming basketball uh, volleyball along with that uh, we had uh, well badminton courts also Uh, shooting along with uh, that there is a sports stadium also so this is our uh, overall view of our campus uh, and this is a night view of our respective campus so if i talk about residential facility and security firstly it is a ragging free university and if if you want to enter the university you have to uh, basically give the access to enter the same thing with the turnstile uh, along with that residential facilities we have one seater two seater three seater four seater air cooled and air uh, conditioned rooms along with uh, luxury apartments we have six girls hostels and eight boys hostels with the has capacity of 20000 plus capacity uh, and we have uh, various food options whether it is standard food whether it is south indian food or whether north indian food uh, so uh, we are providing four seater air cooled rooms uh, with 65000 rupees if you basically avail uh, uh, as a form of early decision benefit 
along with that uh, we uh, do give that uh, various facilities for the, all the residential people those who are staying over here whether it's with we are providing uh, wi-fi to all the campus uh, your academic blocks along with your hostels along with uh, we have various banks associated in, in our university along with atms uh, gymnasium hospital and uh, convenience stores which one of them i have mentioned that some of them are placed in academic resource center so we're talking about uc design programs we are offering as as Harker, sir actually referred regarding uh, fashion design so we have various uc design programs along with one of the prominent one is b design which is uh, uh, b design fashion uh, so for, uh, for uh, taking the admission in bsc design or b design programs a student should have the uh, should should pass uh, with their 50 percent aggregate person in plus two exam with english or equivalent or it, uh, they must uh, either uh, qualify lpu nest or uc or nifc uh, entrance test on NI, nid dat uh, for the fee, uh, fee part, we have uh, actually the uh, fashion design program uh, is having a B design fashion B design program of fashion design is actually uh, giving the scholarship. Uh, we have the fee structure of that is one lakh twenty thousand. Now uh, it's very important to score good marks in plus two examination, or uh, we have uh, LPU Nest uh, cut off. Let's say if if you score good in plus two examination with eighty to eighty nine point nine percent uh so you get a scholarship so uh, you get a scholarship of 30 percent uh, you know uh, the fees is reduced to uh your 84 thousand you're getting the scholarship of 36 thousand every semester so if it is a four-year course again uh your 36 thousand scholarship is multiplied with eight semesters so again uh it all depends upon the course that you are doing and the, what a kind of scholarship that you are getting so lpu nest uh not, it's not only for eligibility it's for scholarship as well so you must get a very good score in that along with that if, if you score around 90 to 94.99 in plus two or you are in lpu nest cut off two you will get the scholarship of uh 48 000, uh per semester and again, per semester, there are eight semesters. So you have 48 multiplied with eight. So it depends upon what course you are doing. And along with that, uh, we have uh, 60,000 scholarship for if you have more than 95% marks in plus two or either you qualify in LPNS cut off one. So again, this is something which you need to understand that you have to score very good in either plus two examination or LPNS cut off. Uh, you get the scholarship of 60,000 every semester your fees is reduced to 60000 from 120000 so this is something which we all need to understand so uh, not only scholarship that we provide in qualify exam which is plus two or whether it is uh, on uc examination or we basically provide scholarship on lpu nest examination also if you are good uh, in sports cultural extracurricular activities uh, again you get a scholarship if you are belonging from defense family that again you can get the scholarship accordingly and uh, we have a special, a special scholarship if you are a topper of education board all you need to do is to mail us to admissions at the rate of lpu.co.in the moment your result gets out uh, if you are a topper in your examination so if we basically go to other uh, website in website you can easily get all this information uh, all you need to do is you have to basically go to nest.lpu.in uh, over there uh, you need to basically select design course whether you are going with b design so if you are going with b design so uh, you have the access of other courses also like uh, what kind of course that you actually need to do so like for an example uh, like for an example you basically want to uh, go with the eligibility scholarship uh, information so you can uh, you could you know you can select uh, various courses that we are offering let's say b design fashion is one of them uh, you select this particular course by default you will be linked to a particular uh, particular website uh, where a particular link of the website and over there you can explore what kind of things that we are offering along with uh, we are uh, providing curriculum what uh, what fees we are going to have scholarship that i explained and uh, we have uh, you know uh, the scholarship information is also given so whatever you are uh, going to uh, write by default it will uh, link directly to your respective page so uh, and there are highlights of the program what kind of curriculum that fashion design program is we design fashion design is going to have and how to apply and important dates are also mentioned in this particular link
so you can see uh, you have a test uh, which is available from 10th march onwards date of submission of apps lpns is uh, 10th, uh, 10th of may so 25th uh, of april we are going to start uh, the session so it's it's uh, it depends upon what kind of schedule you are op offering whether it is april schedule or whether it is may schedule so uh, that's it from my side if there is any information i can help with uh, i'll be happy to address that Thank you so much, Tiag sir. Actually, we had a query regarding the fee and uh, this eligibility in B design and BSc. I hope attendee uh, get the answer. Yeah. So, uh, so what is the query? Can you just ask me? Then, by default, I can easily direct to the website, and by uh, default, I can explain. Our attendee is asking, uh, what is the eligibility and for fee structure for the B design? Yeah. In Okay, great. So uh, it's very simple. I, as I told you that all you have to do is uh, you have to basically go to nest.lpu.in. Uh, just uh, please uh, note this link, which is nest.lpu.in. Over there, by default, uh, you know, I am just opening that link. So please, you open with me if you are here. So uh, nest.lpu.in. So you have to just put, and over there, you just need to put B design. So the moment you select B design course, by default, every information will be given to you. Like for an example, uh, we are concerned with the eligibility part of it. So eligibility, as I explained in B design, the information, uh, there is an information tab. There's a clear option of eligibility. So by default, we select el eligibility. So see uh, what is the eligibility that we are having. Uh, just clear uh, information is given. For uh, admission in BSc fashion, uh, BSc design or B design courses, whether it is fashion or whether it is other courses, uh, you must pass with 50% of aggregate marks in plus two, where your English is very much important. Along with that, you need to qualify either your LPU NEST examination or your UCD examination or your NIFT examination or N NID DAT. So whatever uh, examination that you need to, either you need to qualify LPU NEST or you need to appear for C UCD and qualify that examination. Uh, that is your eligibility information. Now, uh, when it, when you call, uh, when you talk about fee and scholarship, so by default the fee and scholarship tab is there on the top. Clearly, the fees is one lakh twenty thousand for uh, your uh, B design course. But again, the scholarship depends upon your performance. Your performance in plus two examination, or whether it is any, uh, whether it is LPU NEST for that matter. So please apply for LPU NEST examination. So if you come in cut category one cutoff in LPU NEST, or you score ninety five percent or more, you get the scholarship of sixty thousand. So fees is not one lakh twenty thousand anymore. So it is sixty thousand. So again, so sixty thousand if it is a four year course uh, as B design course, so sixty thousand multiplied with eight becomes four lakh eighty thousand. So entirely you are saving if you are scoring good marks in LPU NEST examination. You have category cut off two, cut off three. So a cut off two is where you get a scholarship when you score 90 to 94.9 percent in plus two, or you come in category two of LPU NEST examination, or category three is also for 80 uh, percent or more, 80, 80 to 90, 89.9 and 36,000 per semester. You are getting the scholarship. So your fees is not one lakh twenty thousand anymore. So it is one lakh twenty uh, minus thirty six. So that's what you have to do. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. We have one more question. How B design is different from BSc fashion design? I hope uh, Basker sir with I, us. I think Basker sir can answer it in a better way. I, I although know. I know the answer, but I think Basker. Yeah. Okay. If he's there. Yeah. Basker sir. Question is yeah. how B design is different from BSc fashion design. So B design is of four years compared with this, and that's a bachelor degree. And BSc for three years. In BSc and B design, there is not much of difference. Uh, first two years are similar, but when you go to the third year for BSc, you go for a, a industry internships uh, for the last semester, a complete semester. Or, or you go for a design collection and you pass out. The normal thing is that when you go for a B design, the advantages that you get in B design is all about research projects, 
the associate projects, the life projects, the internships, and definitely the good campus placement. It is both for BS in B design. Bigger perspective in going to the industry and getting a higher place jobs. So this year we got a job for B design, which goes to 16 lakhs. And BSc definitely you get a job of five to six lakhs. Average is 3.5 lakhs. So definitely there is a there is a scope of learning more in one year. And rest of the uh, differences, I think uh, the team can give. Uh, Dr. Chirag, you are there? There. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Please continue. Uh, I just couldn't get the question. Can 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 you give me the question again? Uh, was there any question? You are muted. Your voice cannot be heard. Sir, am I audible? Are you audible? Yeah, sorry for the interruption. So there are no more queries. Thank you so much. So I'm giving formally thank you. Experts, your years of research, your depth of understanding the topic and your ability to present the topic in such an interesting way produced one of the most wonderful afternoon for all the attendees. On behalf of all the attendees of this webinar, I want to thank you for your insightful presentation. Hopefully the attendees found this webinar to be valuable and will be able to utilize the information provided in this webinar. I'm obliged and once again, thank you to all the experts strengthening this platform. Signing off for the day. Thank <laughs> you.